Do you think, a lot of doctors have said that, you know, modern medicine takes a while to catch up to some of the, uh, the current therapies. Do you think 20, 30 years from now that, you know, natural therapies will be the answer? cancer? I think if that doesn't happen, we got a real problem because the synthetic drug-based therapies are not working very well. There's more and more money being spent on research for drugs in the American Cancer Society, the NIH, and the NCR, all the things we're mm -hmm. talking about, and it's not leading to improved results. Uh, and if we don't change direction, it's not going to get better. And as the world gets more polluted, cancer, to me, the incidence is increasing. And in my own lifetime, I've seen a change. I mean, we're getting, pa we're getting patients calling our office in their 20s with lung cancer and pancreatic cancer. When I was in medical school, I never heard of a patient with lung cancer or pancreatic cancer in their 20s. Mm -hmm. I had an oncologist from Connecticut call me. She had a very nice interest in my work, very conventional, but interested in my work. Had a 12-year-old with pancreatic cancer, and she said, it's not some weird genetic mutation. It's adult pancreatic cancer happening in a child. And she'd never seen it in her training. She was trained at Sloan Kettering. She said, I've never seen a case like this. And she called me, because I was supposedly, she thought, an expert. And I told her, you know, take, give him some enzymes. So I'm seeing cancer, aggressive cancers occurring at younger and younger ages. People in their 20s getting metastatic lung and metastatic pancreatic and colon cancer. It's a very, it seems to be getting more aggressive. We're having to make our program more aggressive as the years mm -hmm. pass, even in my own professional, professional lifetime. So if there isn't a change toward prevention, toward nutrition, toward more natural approaches, we're going to have a real, real problem over the next 20 to 30 years. I think they'll be forced to change because the, the failure of the approach they're using now based on 1946, the single vision.